Hi everyone, I'm Amrita and welcome to my channel Fries and Shine. Here you will find evidence-based, no-nonsense, nutrition-related information. And in today's video, I'm going to review caffeine and weight loss. A lot of us consume caffeine in some form or the other, usually as tea or coffee, usually right as we start our day. In fact, some of us even claim that we absolutely need the physical and mental kick that it gives us. So in this video, first I will explore what caffeine is, then we will discuss how and why it brings about the effects that it does, then we will discuss how it is implicated in weight loss, and finally, whether or not caffeine can actually be used to either create or sustain long-term weight loss. So what is caffeine? Caffeine is a bitter chemical naturally found in some seeds, nuts and leaves. In its natural state, caffeine acts as an insecticide, yes, an actual insecticide and it protects the plant from being eaten by insects. We humans consume caffeine from plants, mostly from the coffee bean, by soaking them in water and then by consuming this drink. So tea, coffee and chocolate are three very popular sources of caffeine but the first two have quite a large dose of caffeine in it so we'll mostly be discussing those in today's video. So why does caffeine bring about the effects that it does and how does it help create the kick? Caffeine is a psychoactive drug which means it can modify mood, behavior, consciousness etc. In fact, it's the world's most popularly and commonly used psychoactive drug. It is a stimulant which means it increases the speed at which messages are transmitted to and from the brain to different parts of the body. The result of this is bodily changes like increased heart rate and increased breathing which is what makes you feel awake when you drink a caffeinated beverage. How does this relate caffeine to weight and fat loss though? One other effect of caffeine in the body is fat breakdown. So some of us carry excess fat in our body. And in order for us to lose this fat, we have to first actually be able to use this fat to produce energy. That's how it gets burnt. So caffeine works on your brain in a way that the brain begins to tell your fat cells to release this stored fat. Now when you have this free fat floating around in your blood, your body can use this to produce energy and in this way help you burn fat. And remember how I said caffeine is a stimulant? It makes your body work faster than it normally does. And in order for your body to do this, it needs to use more energy than it normally does. Let's say for example, you were using 2000 calories to do a particular amount of work. Caffeine makes it so that your body is now using 2200 calories to do the same kind of work. In this way, by increasing the amount of energy that the body uses, caffeine can affect weight loss. It's important to note though that you can get used to a certain dose of caffeine. Do you know people who can chug an entire pot of coffee and go about their day absolutely smoothly versus people who might drink just one cup of coffee but still experience jitters and insomnia. Once your body gets used to a certain dose of caffeine, it may not always react the same way. For example, your heart rate and your breathing may remain normal even if you consume coffee because your body has gotten adapted to that amount of caffeine. In this case, your energy needs would be no higher than normal and you may not get the potential weight loss benefits. Another way that caffeine can affect weight is through hunger and appetite regulation. Caffeine is a hunger suppressant and you may have realized that you can easily go a couple of hours without food when you have a caffeinated beverage. So you end up eating lesser food and you create the caloric deficit needed for weight loss. In my personal and professional opinion though, this is really not such a great strategy and it causes more problems than it solves because your body doesn't get all the nutrients that it needs. Lastly, caffeine can impact how much and how well you exercise. Remember we discussed caffeine can increase your body's use of fat as fuel? Well, one gram of sugar produces only four calories worth of energy where one gram of fat produces 9 calories worth of energy. So if you are using fat instead of sugar as fuel for exercise, it can ensure a more optimal workout. 
You can give your workout your best shot and it will go on to do wonders for your weight and health. In fact, even low doses of caffeine can impact your mood, your alertness and your perception of how tired you are. All of these can take you one step further to ensuring that you get the maximum bang for your buck when you work out. So is caffeine a great option for long-term weight loss? Before I answer that, there are just a few points we should consider. Caffeine is a stimulant and it can cause withdrawal effects like mood changes and irritability if you have been consuming it regularly and then stop to consume it for whatever reason. Since it affects functions like heart rate, breathing and digestion, it's really important to ensure that you're not taking any medications that caffeine would interfere with. If you are sensitive to caffeine, it can interfere with your sleep, so it's important to plan and time your caffeinated beverage properly. In some people, it can cause GI distress, aka it can create flatulence and make you want to poop. poop. <laughs> so you may need to ensure that you always have a loo nearby. If you frequently experience nervousness or anxiety, caffeine can worsen these feelings. Most importantly, and eventually, you will need larger doses of caffeine to create the same effects that a small dose of caffeine was once able to do for you, and this may not always be very safe. So if you have your tea and coffee more for its taste than for the effects of the caffeine, you may want to consider decaffeinated beverages. These drinks also do contain a certain amount of caffeine, but this small amount is unlikely to cause uncomfortable symptoms for you. Depending on where you live, these drinks may or may not be available in coffee shops, but they mostly are available as boxed teas and coffees. In conclusion, while caffeine could support some fat and weight loss, you will eventually need larger and larger doses if you keep having it in the long run to sustain the same effects, which may not be a very viable solution for you. You definitely can use it as an occasional mood and energy enhancer though. So use it smartly and if you are using caffeine to supplement your weight loss and fat loss goals, remember it is just a supplement. It won't work for you if you don't have a strong foundation of a balanced diet and regular physical activity. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and share this video with other people who may also enjoy it. If you have any questions or concerns, you can leave them in the comments below. You can reach out to me on Instagram or you can email me. Hope to hear from you very soon. Until then, take care and keep shining.